In today's video, we're going to go over the best builds for the brand new Spotlight Terror event for Ditto that will be kicking off later this week in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So from the 7th of April running through to the 9th of April, the Spotlight Terror Raid event for Ditto will be going live and it'll give players the opportunity to get themselves a guaranteed 5 IV Ditto from these 5 star Terror Raids. It's going to be an interesting event. I don't know if there'll be any additional item drops with this one. Obviously, we had the Blissey Spotlight Terror Raid event recently and that gave us a bunch of Terror Shards as well as XL Candy. So we might get some added bonus on top of that. But at the baseline, it's going to give us Ditto with those five perfect IVs which is great because the only other way in game currently to get one with five guaranteed IVs is through the six star terror raids which are pretty rare extremely hard to find as I know because I found one in game for us just this morning and as we already know in game Ditto does appear in terror raid dens it appears already in game in a five star terror raid event den and we can have a look at the details here to know what to expect the nice thing about Ditto our preparation is pretty solid for this one we know Ditto doesn't learn anything other than transform there's nothing really sneaky that we're going to be expecting from these terror raid event dens other than it's probably likely going to have that imposter ability which will make a transfer turn one into your pokemon if you're soloing or if you're hosting a raid it will turn into your pokemon before any turns actually begin in the terror raid being a five star terror raid it will be set to level 75 and it will know the move transform the nice thing about the ditto raids is you can really manipulate these terror raid dens to be as easy as possible obviously taking in a strong trained fully trained ev trained pokemon into these events will make it very difficult because your fully trained Pokemon is what the Ditto will be transforming into and obviously you're going to have to beat that Pokemon and in a mirror match situation where you've got the same Pokemon facing off against each other it can be quite tricky so you don't want to give the Ditto any advantage going into these Terror Raid events. Now as we jump over into game I do have three builds here and I would say one of them is better than all of the other ones that I would suggest but there is three nice options for us to go into this raid event with. All can be taken online as well uh, you just need to make sure that your opponents have some strong Pokemon to be able to deal with these raid event Pokemon. So the first build that we're going to be checking out today, and they're all going to be pretty easy. The preparation for this raid event itself is going to be probably one of the easiest for the Spotlight Terror raid events or any raid event that we've had in general. But the first Pokemon we're looking at is Sinistee. This ghost type, it is easily catchable in the games. The only thing that you're going to need to do with your Sinistee is make sure that it is level 60 and it has the ability weak armor. So that is the only only criteria you're not going to need to ev train this pokemon you're not going to make sure that it's got maximum or hyper trained ivs or anything like that and the only move that you wanted to learn is shell smash so when you go into the raid event against the ditto the ditto's impossibility will activate and then it will copy your sinistee obtaining the weak armor ability so every time it's hit its defense falls and it will only know the move shell smash as well so every turn it is using shell smash it will be lowering those defenses even further so even in a solo situation in game you don't need to go online to do this it can be very achievable very quickly and as you see here we did this with a six star ditto raid and of course this one's going to be a bit more difficult than your five star raids of course six star are a lot stronger than five star raid but as you can see using the sinister here the ditto copies it and then continues to use shell smash as it's its only option and it allows allows the partnering Pokemon that we've been paired up with to make quick work of this Sinistee or the Ditto for you to catch it and then obtain it in game. The next option I would say is something that we've already covered on the channel very early on when Scarlet and Violet came out. It was a method that I used to get Ditto very quickly and I think it's probably a better method to use online where your partnering Pokemon are a lot stronger than the, the random ones that get paired up with you in a solo mode but it can be used in a solo situation as well. You get yourself a low level Ditto so something it did from a three star or four star raid around that 30 level mark so it's got low stats when it gets copied so the opposing Ditto is not going to be that strong at all you don't need to worry about training the Ditto at all you don't need to do anything with it this one was one I got on a trade from a Japanese player got transform got the limber ability but like I say it doesn't really matter what ability or anything that your Ditto has it just needs to be low level low stats not trained or anything like that no EVs or anything so it's very minimal effort here 
with the ditto itself that you'll be using. The idea with the ditto is you take it into the raid event and then first turn the impossibility activates and then the ditto copies your ditto. And although the ditto that is in the raid does have access to the move transform, because it's already transformed at the start of the battle, it will always fail for the rest of the battle. But the nice thing about ditto is it means you can then transform into something, one of the partnering Pokemon that are alongside with you. So say if someone you're paired up with has an Iron Hands, you can transform into that and then do big damage to the ditto in return while it's sat on the field stuck using transform for the rest of the battle, making it very, very easy. Like I say, I think this one is a better method for going online and using online. It just gives you an option where you're not not just sitting there doing nothing clicking transform every turn while your partnering pokemon do all the work you can transform into something and still have a bit of action in the battle and close out the event a lot quicker and the final one i would say there's very little preparation in this one it is using a level one magic cop no preparation involved in this go out catch yourself a magic cop they are abundant around the paldea region you'll be able to catch one no problem then breed one down for a level one magic hop and hey presser you've got your best raid counter pokemon to these ditto events in my opinion anyway so then the magic hop like i say you don't need to do anything with it it just has the move splash don't worry about the ability don't worry about the nature or anything like that it is going to make these ditto events very easy and a very minimal effort to get involved in them so we'll go in and i'll show you how easy it is and bear in mind that this is a six star ditto this took me a while to get so um it'd be nice to be able to just go in and show you how quick it is with the magic hop and testing all three of these they all work they're all reliable all consistent but i feel like the magic hop level one is the quickest method to do this either soloing in game on your own if you don't want to go online and do it with other players or online it will make it very quick for your opponents to just make the easiest time and uh, knock the ditto out very quickly so as you can see here you can go into the raid itself and the first turn like we will expect in the spotlight terror raid events the ditto will use that imposter ability and turn into your magic carp so it's going to be locked into splash it's not going to be able to do anything but because the defenses are so low on the magic carp that it's transformed into it means the partnering pokemon that you've got alongside with you are going to be able to do big damaging attacks very quickly and bear in mind this is a six star raid there we go you see as easy as that the star raptor just needs to use one attack and that is it that is how quick it will be and like i said bear in mind that this is a six star raid will be going into five star raids which will be much easier so magikarp 100 percent gonna be the best pokemon to take into these raid events with and it is very minimal effort so you can see here once you've got the the ditto there you can just catch it in any ball you want we we'll use our final premier ball and we'll see what the iv spread on it is because the iv spread of these six star raids guarantee five perfect ivs so it should be the equivalent of what we will be getting in the five star raid event that will be happening this weekend and there we go and the item drops are good but this is just a normal ditto den six star raid nothing special here and i wouldn't expect the item drops to be as good probably in the five star raid maybe they are maybe they aren't but um once you've done the raid it is as simple as that it might take a few more turns than one turn but i think the magic carp is literally the easiest way you don't really need to do anything else than that just breed a magic carp it's super easy to breed down as well it takes like literally five minutes prep and then you are set to go into this event and just rinse through it and you can see here here is our ditto that we've just caught and if we go into our boxes we'll be able to have a better look at the iv spread of this ditto which will be super nice so let's have a look it has got five perfect ivs there and it has got a pretty good attack one so um it's a perfect one to breed for special attackers and things like that so it makes it really nice to have in the arsenal and uh, if you can get a bunch of these of course it's going to mean that you're going to be able to trade them away to fellow players around the world for better masuda method breeding dittos which makes shiny hunting with eggs a lot easier but like i say this is a weird one for our best builds today because there is very minimal effort with it it's going to take you five minutes to prepare it and you're going to be set to go in and just have a ball at this event over the weekend but magic cop is the one to take level one splash no evs don't worry about the nature don't worry about the ability there's nothing to worry about i'm not even going to put it in the description because you don't need any more information than that magic cop is going to be the one to do it if you want a bit more fun of course the sinister is quite nice with the shell smash and that weak armor ability and ditto is always a good fallback one if you've only got that one and you don't want to put any effort into getting the magic 
break up all the sinister. So, friends, I hope you found today's video useful. It is a fun one to do. I'm looking forward to this Ditto Raid event at the weekend. If you've got some ideas of Pokemon you would like to be taking into this or thinking this one that I've got, this idea, it's going to be great taking it into the Terror Raid. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your Pokemon of choice that you'd be taking into these raid events to make these dittos very easy to obtain. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like. It does really help the channel out and do subscribe so you stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content going forward. Of course, when the event goes live on Thursday, we will be doing a, a live update of the best ways to get this, all the information around the event itself and everything in between. So stay tuned for that. Have a great rest of your day, friends, and I'll catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.